Good morning, Areno fellas. How are we doing? What's up? What is it? Day three of the Christmas event, December 26th. I didn't stream or do anything yesterday for the most part. I did some stuff here and there for work, but what's up, fellas? Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are we doing? Happy to see you all. It's time to shiny hunt. I've uh, been spending quite a bit of Pokeyen, okay? Getting stocked up on certain things. I've got some unread mail. I've got my dinner status. We've got the happy holidays 20% shiny rate boost, of course. I'm popping lures, or I should be popping lures, leading my party with an arena trap Pokemon to help me catch that... Abra, if I were to happen to encounter that here, as well as it gives me 10% increased encounters uh, as on top of it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just here shunting. We're going for Articuno right now. As I should the turn link off. We're going for Articuno. Actually, no, no, I want that on. <laughs> what? Okay, I can't decide. Um, we're going for Articuno as well as Shiny Hunting at a pretty good location. There's not that many good single encounter spots in Kanto, but this is one of the better ones in my opinion, fellas. But what's up? What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Let's jump into a, uh, a holiday stream. So is Articuno here to stay? We don't really know 100% for sure. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're assuming it operates similar to the Legendary Beasts, where it's permanent for this month. You have the month to catch it, and then it'll just rotate and rotate. We, that's what we assume. The other Legendary Birds are probably coming in the coming months. Um, but could be wrong. Could be wrong. Good start to the day. Dude, a lot of this week is going to consist of me waking up and just going live in shiny hunting. This is going to like these streams should be similar ish to shiny wars in my maybe. Maybe I'll, we'll see. Obviously, we'll play it by ear, but I feel like these streams it's such an insane boost. I feel like that these streams will be similar to shiny wars where I just wake up, you know, go live and I shiny hunt and we just see what happens that day. Like for like a week straight, we just shine up for like six to ten hours a day on stream and then more off stream. Uh, going for vanities or just buying them? Question mark. Great question. I actually just put out my vanities guide like a second before starting stream. I'm gonna just be buying the vanities that I want during the second half. I have no interest in spending all that time and energy going for the swarms, man. I I'd rather just um, I'd rather just buy them. Uh, it's a great question. Like it's just so much time. I feel like going for all of them, and I'd I'd rather just kind of go for the the lazy money spending route. Any uh, spots you suggest doing singles in Kanto? I mean, this spot's one of the better spots, in my opinion, Route 24. I'll have to probably go back and make a guide on it, since it's a really common question now. Like, what, where should I, you know, what spots should I shunt to go for, or hunt at to go for Articuno? Uh, there's a couple ones that come to mind. You can, like, payday pickup if you want to make Pokeyen on, on Island 5. You could do this spot and look for, like, Squirtle, Abra. Like, there's some cool shinies here. Um, other than that, well, I'll have to kind of, it, it sucks because like they picked the two regions that have some of the worst single encounter spots right now. Um, like Johto and Kanto, cause both of these regions have been, Johto just doesn't have that many good single encounter spots and, uh, Kanto like lost a lot of good spots to other regions. Yeah. So Vault Canyon's probably not bad. Like there's like Larvitar and stuff there. I mean, the issue is Larvitar is just not that rare of a shiny anymore. I mean, it's not like common, but, um, so Vault Canyon for a chance at Larvitar. I think Pupitar or Titar is also there with Lores. And then you also get Skarmory. Skarmory is the better one, but I think Skarm even has like a uncommon spot nowadays or something. Let's check. I feel like Skarm has been changed a little bit as well. Headbutt, to be fair. Okay, maybe Storm is still worth. Yeah, so Volcano is pretty good. That's a Volcano. You should have a 15% chance at a rare shiny. The issue is you have a 15% chance at a rare shiny, but every other thing is a dud. Like Onyx, Geodude, like all the other encounters that are hard duds. Genuinely wondering what to do with the Mysterious Balls. Now the price has tanked. Wondering if I should, should hold or sell now because I'm never popping them. If you're never popping, in my opinion, dude, it's only been two days into the event. I think they'll still continue to, to tank. Um, I don't think this is the bottom out at all. I think... Um, Pokeballs probably reach like 5k would be my guess because we can actually do the math I plan I plan on doing an opening today for fun um, And showing you guys the math because it's actually pretty interesting right now the math for opening most of the mysterious pokeballs lines up pretty comparably to an egg shunt cost but you don't get to pick the pokemon you want but it's a lot it's a, you save like 2000 hours you know um, so it's it's pretty interesting um, it's interesting is what I would say Kanto really has this big problem with decently good rares, but so many shit phases. Yes, all the uh, Kanto quote unquote single encounter spots like aren't actually spots that I'd recommend single encountering at. Yeah, you pretty much nailed it because they're all like, okay, 5% chance for Charmander. Fucking good luck. If you don't get that, you get a Geo dude. Like it's that has explosion. Watch out. Like, um, yeah, it's not great. Thank you so much for the charm, Lino. I appreciate it, man. Good luck to all the charmers here. 
Uh, route seven in Kanto has Volpix, Growlithe, Houndor. This is a this is a lot of great calls. Yeah, Volpix, Growlithe, Houndor, Meowth, Oddish, Abra, Snubble's a cool one. Jigglypuff, Menke, then Duds are Pidgey, Rattata, Bellsprout. Yeah, it's a lot of those. So there's no rares there, and a lot of those Mons do have like other hordes, but at the same time. There's so few duds, like you said. Like, that is a really interesting... It's a good option, for sure. What are you planning to do this event? Dude, in all honesty, man, mostly shunting. Mostly shunting. How about the Eevee Drymer spot? I think it's Route 17. I don't like spots like that. A lot of people are going to, like, the Eevee spot. I don't like spots. Like, I don't think it's worth to shiny hunt at spots where the only valuable Pokemon, the only relevant Mon, is, is like, a 5% chance Pokemon. Like, you have a 5% chance at encountering Eevee at Route 17 and that's it and if you go there like the math on something like that is like thousands of hours until you get a shiny Eevee on average right because you have to do um if it's five what's the math is it 20 it's 20 shiny phases before Eevee on average right so if it takes you 100 hours per single encounter shiny yeah that's the right math 100 you know 300 counters per hour um so let's do 20 times 100 hours I mean, it's 2,000 hours on average to single encounter for a shiny Eevee with using Lois spending money as well. LMAO Pat right now on a route with Squirtle. That's 5%. Okay, yes, but there's also good Pokemon here that I want as shinies. Things like Oddish, things like Abra, I think is a really cool shiny. There is a Kadabra times 5 4 technically, but like, I don't know. I think the spot is still pretty solid um, comparatively to other. I think it's solid, but maybe I'm just Copium. Is it 20% or 40%? The flat rate is plus 20%, but you can get it to plus 40% by adding on charm and dono um a lot of people so i could also be wrong i want i always want to qualify like i'm not you know the harbor of all incredible perfect knowledge i you know make mistakes all the time even though i've been playing the game for 10 years it just happens um but from my understanding the way the math works on something like this is it's 20 percent subtracted from the base rate and then 10 percent on that adjusted rate from charm or dono and then 10 percent from that adjusted rate from charm or dono if you're popping everything um a lot of people were just kind of i saw people like mathing in the comments and being like hey your math is wrong it's a 40 percent boost so you just take a flat 40 percent from blah, blah, and that's not how it works you that's never how it works um it's the same with like charm and dono where like you don't just subtract 20 percent from 30k to get the shiny rate because if you do that it ends up being like what 6k so it's one out of 24k if you just subtract a flat 20 percent from charming dono normally but that's not how it works what you do is you subtract 10 percent and then 10 percent on top of that adjusted rate so you would subtract 10 percent from 30,000, which would be 27,000, and then you subtract 10 percent from that which makes it 2700 which then you do 27,000 minus 2700 and that gives us 24,300, which is our normal lowest shiny rate in Pokemon, not considering the holiday boost now the way i calced it was by doing the 20 percent flat rate first which is why i assume that how it's working and then do 10 10 percent on that it ends up making the rate somewhere around one out of 19,400. i did a video covering all this math already but someone in the comments tried to argue the math was incorrect um and i could be wrong they said something about how rach said something as well but they never sourced anything um so i don't know it could, I could just be getting one guide, you know? You never really know. Uh, yeah, so we'll see what happens with that. We'll see if anything, any other information or news comes out about the math. Are they inflated? What are they normally? Ditto boxes is what you're referring to. Uh, ditto boxes right now are hyper... Inf well, not inflated. It's more so like demand skyrocketed because everybody's egging right now. They're not inflated. They're just adjusting properly to the market, right? Um, ditto boxes have skyrocketed because everybody's egg hunting right now because of the 20 percent boost which is insane for egg hunts it's such a huge money save and time save um so yeah ditto boxes are really really expensive right now they're usually around 200k that was a good question it's been said by the staff the minimum requirement for articuno spawn is eight badges in canto there you go thank you good call are there ultra rare vanities from this year xmas event not really ultra rare vanities everything is pretty determined i just put out a guide if you go check my, my my channel i just put out a video covering all the vanities and how to get them um the quote-unquote ultra rare from this event would be the fairy items the fairy elf bot outfit and the fairy elf bot hat which uh, wink wink maybe fairy type coming question mark we'll have to see um but yeah Shiny Articuno is possible, right? Yes, Shiny Articuno should not be shiny or should not be shiny locked or Articuno in general. Uh, similar to Legendary. I mean, it's the same as Legendary Beasts and Johto. Kind of unfair to make Articuno, Kanto, and Johto exclusives, in my opinion. At the same time, it's my fault for not completing the regions, but at the same time, this event seems so beginner unfriendly. I 
vehemently disagree, Novenger. I'm sorry. Um, I feel like every single holiday event that rose, rolls around, people complain about them being beginner unfriendly, when in reality, they just haven't put in the time to, like, earn anything. And then they like, just go, like, not to... I think, it, I think it's really lame. If you don't have, like, all five regions done, you're, like, literally barely started playing Pokemon Mo. Um, like, the first five regions is usually considered, like, the starting point of the game. It's, like, where the game really begins. It's kind of like playing World of Warcraft, not reaching level 60, like, classic WoW, and then complaining you can't do raids. Like, dog, you're not at level... Like, what, do you, what do you want? Like, yeah, okay. Um, go level. Go fucking... Go... Yeah, go get level 60. Like, I, I feel like if you can't... Yeah, I don't know. If you don't have all five regions done, you're complaining about, like, a beginner, uh, uh, an event not being beginner-friendly. Like, you have barely put in any work to, like, be able to do... I don't know. Just go put in a little more work. It sounds shitty, but, like, I don't know. It seems so silly to me. Um... This event is extremely beginner friendly. Like you could just start it. You could start a new account, get Kanto done within 10 hours from a, from scratch really easily, right? 10 hours is plenty of time. And then like play the event, get shiny boost, like go for Articuno. Like all you need to do to mostly participate in the event as well is like go catch swarm Pokemon, which is really easy. Um, I don't know. There's so many, I don't know. There's so many ways. Um, I would argue this event's way more open than the Halloween event. You brought up the Halloween event as an example as well. For the Halloween event, you needed, like, high-level, level 100 Pokemon, Chandelures that were, like, 800 to, K to 1 million Pokemon at the time. Um, like, you needed way more requirements to be able to beat the boss in the hard mode boss. If you want to argue, like, the boss is not beginner-friendly, yeah, of course, in, like, Halloween, yeah, of course it is, and that's super fair, and that's base. Not everything should be beginner-friendly. If a fucking Halloween event boss is beginner-friendly on hard mode, I don't know, um... There's fair, there's fair arguments that it probably should be easier on easy mode and make more, like, more accessible to players on easy mode, and you shouldn't have to have, like, a specific strat. That's all, that's all fair. I like those arguments. Those are fair. Um, but I don't know. Um, I don't, I don't like people argue that stuff isn't beginner-friendly enough when they haven't even, they've, like, haven't even put any time into the game or haven't even completed all regions. It seems a little silly to me. It's kind of like, um, I know I'm ranting about this for way too long, but imagine, like, I just started playing golf, and I, like, couldn't get par on the course and instead of me like trying to improve and practice my golf skills i just said like they should raise the par for the course and like make it more beginner friendly like that that's not that doesn't help anybody all it does is like make the game it just makes the skill ceiling lower um yeah just i don't know i think it's really important to like work hard and, and strive for that as opposed to like asking a system to change around you is never better than like changing around the system and adapting right i don't know anyways tldr work hard pog have fun Route 5 in Kanto has Ivasaur, Snubble, Bellsprout, Abra, Growlithe. That's a cool spot. It's okay. Yeah, it's, it's a cool... I mean, obviously, you can hunt wherever you want to, um, Renair. But I, I'd say it's a pretty cool spot, if you ask me. A good little cheat code to just check what good spots are in Kanto is definitely just checking where all, like, the... St where, where you can lure all the starters, essentially. And just checking those spots to see if they're, uh... If they have good spawns, honestly. I might actually shake it up here in a sec. I'm gonna finish... Like, people are going Pattern Bush as well as a common one. I'm probably going to shake it up and change locations here after this lore. Here, one of the most insane numbers. This is like the best way. People are saying like, oh, is 20% really that effective? Blah, blah, blah. You're literally saving 20% of your time. Okay. And if an egg hunt is something like two to 4,000 hours, let's just guesstimate 3,000 hours. You're literally saving, you know, 0.20. 600 hours. Is, is is holiday boost that effective when on average you're saving 600 hours when egg hunting during this event? Yes, it's it's that effective. Um, and then you put the 20% on top of it, right? To do the uh, charms and donos, right? Um, yeah, most cash grab. I think this could arguably be the most cash grab event. That's one of the things when I saw, like when I saw it was like the amount of people that are going to be buying rp either to buy ditto boxes or buying rp to buy donator or or shiny charms like this is probably the most whale friendly event i've ever seen which is a little saddening um that's so many casual players are like hell yeah like it's only a good thing because i'm gonna get more shinies i'm so glad that i get a selfishly boosted rate like it's way more complicated than that like about what's better for the game is so much more complicated than like what's better for than, like your own personal needs like i don't know man the amount of people i saw in the comments being like this is, the, this is, I want to say, this, I, this is a good event. I'm not sure to be so overly negative. This is a great event. I think this is actually a fantastic event. I think the 20% boost is mostly good. I think as long as this doesn't return, I think it's a really good thing. If this returns every year, I'd be really sad. But if this is only here for this year, till I sort of apologize for missing deadlines, it's a fun little one-time thing. I That's totally fine. Um, but I made a whole video, I hope made a whole video already rambling about this. So if you haven't seen it, go check that out. But um, 
How can I finish this little ramble? Um, <laughs> essentially, I don't know. I think this is a really cold take, but it's important to think about game balance over personal needs and personal goals, right? A really obvious cold take, but I think it's easy to forget. Do we know if Articuno is actually going to be useful? Probably not. <laughs> like, is it even going to be good in NU? I don't even know. Um, it's a really good question. Will Articuno actually be useful? Probably not, but I could be wrong. Someone wants me to calculate the time it would take to get a shiny right now doing times five hordes of Magikarp. Um, all right, so usually it's 30,000 and usually you're doing 1,000 encounters per hour doing times five hordes. So that's a really easy one. Usually it's 30 hours without the 20% boost, but with the 20% boost, you end up taking 30 hours times 0.20, subtracting six around, so 24 hours. It should be around 24 hours at the moment per times five horde shiny on average. If you're like hunting near a PC, like not doing lepas. I've used lepas, it can be faster. Uh, if you're, if I will say if you're hunting for Magikarp, I do recommend lepa hunting if possible over in Dragon's Den so that you can um, risk a chance at a, at a Dratini. Cause then, and then it's like, you know, cause you're, you're gonna get four on average if you ever want shiny Dratini, Dragonair, or Dragonite in the future, I always recommend saving the, you want to do Magikarp or Gyarados as well, I recommend saving the Magikarp hunt until you get to Dragon's Den, as opposed to doing the Sutopolis free, free spot, because yeah, you can do times five hordes at Sutopolis or whatever, but like, you're going to get four shiny Magikarps on average on the way to Dratini, and no one needs that many, so you might as well go get your fails, you know, now and get that out of the way with that versus like hunting for it specifically at Zootopolis and then also getting four more if you ever want to do Dratini. That's like long-term macro shunning, so not everybody cares about that, but it's something to think about, at least if it matters for you. Yeah, I just don't understand slash don't know much about the Wishing Stone yet. Apparently a lot of people don't. Um, for those that don't know, someone uh, linked it in Global. There's apparently like a Wishing Stone that you get access to after exchanging 280 Mons to the Elf Bots, around 85 waves. Um, People are claiming different numbers. And it, it might be a hint that Jirachi is coming to Pokemo, apparently. That, uh, because apparently there's, the Wishing Stone is used in Bulbapedia, or it's like the actual traditional games to, um... Yeah, Fung says there's a name in Mystery Dungeons with the exact same name that lets you fight Jirachi, so there's a chance it might do the same. It's interesting. I have, I don't know how to feel about it. I might slowly start looking for swarms to, like, like passively to slowly go for it if i'm just i, I don't want to waste so much time going for it if it doesn't actually really matter but i'm sure it does if you can actually get it like why would they implement it it's just so insane um we'll see man i i, I really would rather shiny hunt is the issue than go for this but if it's like a completionist thing like if i can get like a what's it called um ot petrowski jirachi no that's pretty pog is it a good move to save 2023 mystery balls in the long run do we have no idea um we, like We've just never seen anything comparable to this. We've never seen a sealed product compare. I mean, I guess last year we kind of did. I, I have no idea. Um, I really, really don't know. I, I literally could not tell you is the is the shitty TLDR. Got any retro gaming gifts this year, uh, Pat? Um, I bought myself Sega Genesis power cords and AV cords for the Model 1 and Model 2 to test a bunch of consoles that I bought for parts slash repair and work on those. Um, what else? I got like a to think uh casey got me a fall at new vegas new california republic flag that was really cool and then um what else did i get i got like a yeah okay, this is one of the cooler things that i used to like shiny hunt last night i got like a usb mini mini like mouse and keyboard it's like in one it's kind of like a it looks like do you remember the xbox 360 keyboards that you would like attach to your controller it pretty much looks exactly like that but it's like wireless usb and um it's like a little mini keyboard that you can just use. So I just like lay back on my couch and like use my laptop and just like shiny hunt with that, which has been really comfy. So that's been like really cool. Um, I think that's mostly it for Christmas presents. I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Casey got me a zebra cake, little Debbie scented candle. That was pretty, <laughs> I fucking loved that. That was a good beam. Um, I think that's mostly it for, for like big gifts. I got like a shitty little, um, I picked it up for myself. I got like a little camera to um, maybe do some retro pat content with, with like an actual like handheld video recorder that'll be interesting uh yeah i think that's mostly it i bought myself a switch what pokemon game do i buy i feel like you've got to buy legends like arceus um i feel like if you're gonna play a non-pokemon mode game you might as well play something that's like very out of the normal pokemon formula i feel like yeah i feel like going for for legends or that'd be, that'd be my recommendation personally but obviously do whatever you want someone's got a shiny coughing and team nice congrats shiny coughing's a great that's a horde that i've been trying to go for for a long time dude congratulations to him it's a great shiny. Yeah, yeah, I want to go Savault Canyon. That's what I'll do. I wanted to, um, 
yeah, Squirtle is here if you lure, which is cool. I'm gonna switch up locations though, and head over to. I wanted to switch up a while ago and head over to Savault Canyon, probably. It's Island Seven, yeah. A lot of people are at Pattern Bush right now as well. Just doing some sort of single encounter spot in Kanto to also have that Articuno chance right now seems to be the meta most people are going for. Why do you have a Doug Trio? It just means the Arena Trap ability, which is the same as Swarm. It just gives me 10% increased encounters. And it's also good. I, I was hunting at an Abra location, and if Abra is shiny, you know, can teleport away. So it locks in Teleport Mons, as well as gives me that 10%. Uh, I can leave with Spinarak as well. It does the same thing, though. 10% boosted encounters. I have a Drowski, new player here. Why are you shiny? Why are you hunting a shiny? And what are you gonna do with it? Uh, usually shiny hunting is just like a fun thing to do because you enjoy it. It's hard to explain beyond that. It's kind of asking someone like, hey, like, why are you throwing a football around? It usually because it brings them joy. Um, you know, why are you painting a, a piece of artwork? Oh, because you enjoy painting. Um, I just enjoy shunting and I enjoy, you know, work uh, going for that, you know, I guess putting in the work, putting the time, the effort, and pushing through the RNG and stuff. I should put a scarf on this. Um, yeah, I just enjoy shiny hunting is the real, the TLDR, you know, very simple TLDR of it. And then what I do with the shiny after, I usually either breed it and make it competitive, I make it a utility shiny, or I just put it in my box to forever rot and be another trophy on my shelf that just sits there and does nothing. This is a great question. How does the game recognize a Pokemon is from a swarm for the elf bot event thing? I'm assuming that there's some way they can check the catch location or like, but other than that, I actually don't know. Um, it's a really good question. Uh, I'm not 100% sure, but I would assume it's, it's checking where it was caught and what time. Yo, how are you doing the 40% boost and not 20? It's when you pop donor status and charm on top of it. You get, well, the real thing is you get 20% and then 10% on top of that and then 10% on top of that. It's not technically 40%, but it's a lot more difficult to type like, yeah. It, it's, instead of it being 40% shiny boost in title, it's like 20% plus 10% plus 10% shiny boost would be the, the more accurate technical title. I encountered Articuno on 250 encounters. Dude, nice job. Congratulations. We think that the rate for legendaries is somewhere between one out of 2,000 and one out of 8,000, but we don't we don't know. Um, the devs told us that at some point. But they've never released us the actual number. Um, I've done... I started hunting for Articuno at like 10,000 encounters exactly, so I've done around 1,800 encounters, so I'm probably still under rate, so we'll see. Um, we'll see what happens, though. Yeah, so I'm not currently on my own charm, but I do plan to, I plan to pop charm today. I have a lot of shiny hunting to do today. I do plan to pop charm today. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to pop charm. I have some alphas to breed. I'm going to pop charm, breed my alpha mill tanks. And then also, um, I have fossils to pop. I have fossils, some alphas to breed. What else? I'll just try to get as many like rares as I possibly can do within a charm. And then I'll also, um, open the pokeballs does anybody know i assume i could be wrong does anybody know if mysterious pokeballs i assume they have to be does anybody know if mysterious pokeballs um are affected by shiny boosts i feel like they have to be right that would be my guess i don't have, do i have, are they all in my mail still i didn't collect any that's i don't even know how many i have actually that's a funny question as far as i know they don't yes they do a mod said so okay we have two very conflicting things in chat which is funny um Someone is saying they are not. Someone is saying they are. I, I can't take any word over the other. I, I don't. Yeah. I, sorry, guys. Um, it's interesting. Yeah. Someone said I've seen secret shinies are possible from the mysterious Pokeballs, which is really, really cool. That's pretty. That's very interesting. Time to sell old Ambers. Dude, if you have, if you were like stocked up on fossils before this event. Woo. Yes. Go sell your fossils. Oh, my goodness. If you don't care about popping them. This is big money fossil time. This is, you could even wait a little. They might go up in price. Like I would actually, if you really want to get maximum value, maybe wait until like the 28th or 29th. Wait a couple more days. And then, I don't know. We'll see though. All right. Three seconds until shiny charm ends here. Pog, pog, pog. Cool, cool, cool. I'm going to head over to the PC really quick and collect my mysterious balls and things that I've bought from the GTL that I've been slowly stocking. up and see how many I have access to. All right. How many mysterious balls do i have 13 great 21 poco one ultra that's pretty solid honestly i'm pretty happy with that i'm gonna catch this one snow run from the swarm to try to slowly work on that uh consumption thing we'll go consume this pokemon to the npc the snow run is really bad which means it's perfect to uh to go consume let me turn in the snow run really quick consume easy peasy i need a deli bird swarm at some point if i see my eye out for that let's stay in kanto and go let's go pattern bush do some articuno hunting in there how many boxes should I have for a, an hour of egg breeding, roughly? I think usually it's 13 to 14 boxes is what you want to aim to consume. It's somewhere around, like, 
you want, like the average person should, probably should aim for at least like 300 and 360 eggs consumed that's like a good like bare minimum you want to like mechanically aim for with custom strings 360 eggs made which is double that pokemon consumed um so it's yeah a lot of boxes and then I th I th you want you want to try to push for like if you can get there like 400 eggs i think 400 eggs per hour is like a really good milestone that people should try to aim for but it's not it's not like egg hunting is legitimately so mechanically taxing and so difficult this is gonna be like one of the first events in a long time where i actually do plan to gamble because the reward for gambling in this event is a shiny versus the reward for like an ot shiny the reward for gambling in other events it's just like a vanity, like a pokey. It's just pokey end, right? Which is whatever. Um, but I care about shinies way more. So I actually will be like buying a bunch of the mysterious balls and doing some openings and gambling. Just got a shiny Clefairy looking for Articuno 20 encounters in. Dude, I shiny uh, Clefairy and Clefable, in my opinion, underrated. I didn't like them at first, but those like green tips really grew on me. Uh, congratulations to you, dude. Hell yeah. I think mysterious balls will grow up a ton after the event since the crazy shiny odds. I don't know. Um, definitely not. Don't never. It's one of the most, the biggest, what's, what's the word called? Like fallacies. You can do not, it's not the right word. The, the biggest like mischaracterization you can build in your head is thinking that as soon as the event ends, things will spike up in value. That never happens. Um, if anything, they just tank again. Usually the way that like, I can like care. Let me bring up like MS paint or something and try like, as a graph. If you haven't seen the arc of which like events, vanities go in prior, just event stuff goes in price bro my articuno killed himself can i find him again yes uh i'm sorry that happened that's really unfortunate uh but hopefully your next hunt is a lot faster good luck to you man there should be a significant increase in chance to catch him we don't know the increased chance it's just not known information the devs keep that hidden very secretive spy emoji uh, but it's very it's, it's the same mechanic as legendary beasts if you accidentally kill it or run from it or whatever um the next um, you can re-hunt for it and find it again. You can only catch one per month. If you didn't catch it, you can get another one. And it should be a very, very increased chance to uh, to find it. Be careful, Articuno only has 30 PP total. So keep that in mind. That is pretty insane. Um, Wow, that is kind of shocking. 30 PP total is pretty damn, wow. Do Xmas swarms last the same amount of time as normal swarms? I don't think so. I think they last for a shorter amount of time and appear way more frequent. And like, yeah, dude, um, Xmas swarms are wildly fast in terms of rotation. Similar to like the mysterious, the lost present rotations are really fast. Yeah, super pay to win. I, I would never say this about Pokemon normally, but this event is extremely pay to win. The fact that you can buy, just spend, swipe your credit card and spend a bunch of money on those mysterious Pokeballs to get encounters um and save thousands of hours of time off of certain hunts yeah i mean it's really really yes this is some of the most cash grabby behavior i've seen from the pokemon devs in a long time which is really sad like it sucks to say that but um i think they've been making they've made a lot of great updates over the past two years like some of the we've seen some of the best updates we've ever seen in the game over the past two years the pc ui overhaul the addition of lures um, the Johto update was fantastic. The Ho-Oh boss fight, the Ho-Oh refight, the Shalfo Gyarados fight, the red refight, the whole set Mount Silver mechanics. Um, the, I think the 80-20, the like new horde distribution is a really good update for the game long-term. Obviously a lot of people didn't like it at the time, but I think long-term it'll be really good. Um, they made a lot of great updates for the game over the, over the past two years or so, but they've also added this holiday boost thing they've also added the ability to just buy pokemon encounters um they added 2000 rp vanities for like the first time or the first time in a long time with the pump kitty and trick kitty um they're making way more vanities seasonal which i don't like, a lot of these decisions just come off as very yeah like they're yeah endless charms adding char i think adding shiny charms to be fair is a good thing for the game like i think keeping that at a stable price is probably just better for the game but with all the other stuff going on it does come off even more cash crappy i, I think that the, yeah they've definitely been yeah i don't know it's it's been strange I, I i definitely like some of the best updates have happened over the past two years i know it's not like i would never go as far to say like some of the worst updates have also happened over the past that's not true in my opinion over the past two years but we've been, we have been getting some updates that i question slash i personally just worry about um but we'll have to see. Like the like the legendaries is the one we're talking. Like legendaries, I know a lot of people are gonna disagree with this. Um, legendaries are just way too common in Pokemon Mo. Like we were we were talking about like the fact that someone got a shiny Articuno day one and like nobody even cared, nobody blinked an eye because shiny legendaries just aren't that impressive anymore, which is an insane thing to say. Um, and shiny like shiny um, or just normal legendaries like 
they're just not rare enough like they're just not that hard to get um the fact that legendaries take like half the time on average if not less than than, a, than any shitty shiny is just crazy obviously shiny legendaries are still really impressive but like if if like if my friend got one or some like if one person got one so they, oh, that'd be incredible it'd be amazing but at the same time like if some random that i don't know about like odds are the meme is like odds are someone's gonna get a shiny legendary day one at this point when a new when a new legendary drops which is like really sad to me um I feel like it should at least be like three days or so, like a couple more days. Um, I don't know. I feel like they've. Been, I feel like Pokemon has been making a lot of updates, adhering to the casual player base more than what's best for the game, which is not something they've ever done. Maybe that, maybe it's too early to make that claim though. Like they like once again, they made the horde change, which pissed off a lot of people. Um, so which I which I empathize with and understand. I think that was a good change. Like they really bit the bullet and made a change that was, in my opinion, better for the game long term. Adding like a new tier of difficulty of shunts with Larvitar and Dratini and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I know what people are saying it's pay to win, but aren't the shinies in the balls quite underwhelming? There are some really good shinies in the later balls. Um, Glaceon, looking like a shiny Eevee from the balls. Uh, Staryu was another one I heard about. What was the other one that was mentioned? Glaceon, Staryu. I'm missing one. Of the other like rare shinies that are in like the ultra ball or the later balls um but you can get some pretty good shinies from the i think those might be just the ultra balls and stuff to be fair but uh lapras yeah lapras is another rare one i don't know man it's still pretty yeah crazy on the flip side though isn't this because player base has increased a lot recently which is ultimately good for the game so it's a double-edged sword right uh player base increasing is just good for the game right but when you're increasing the player base for short term to long-term devalue and hurt your game that's what becomes a concern and pokemon has always been about like long-term decision making um you can't just look you can't just like make a decision like imagine if they boosted the shiny rate by like 50 percent, right that would increase the player rate a shit ton right but what, like permanently right but what happened is over time it devalues everything over time players get disgruntled now they no longer care now shinies are no longer special all this stuff yada 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 um long term it kills the game and, and or hurts the game rather at the very least maybe not kills but um making long-term decisions is super super important for the game not just what increases the player count in the short in the short term and you really have to understand like game development and not just be able to, there's a lot of things you have to understand that I, i'm not super qualified in so I'm, i could be wrong on everything i'm saying like i try to qualify as much as possible i'm just i love this game i've played it for 10 years um everything i'm saying could be wrong could be incorrect um yeah feel free to disagree just, just read politely is all i asked yeah, increasing the play rate at the detriment of longevity. Yeah, I feel like, yeah. Like, it's like MMOs, like longevity is everything. Like longevity is so, 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 so important. Um, and I feel like it's something that Pokemon has always valued, but I feel like they've been making a couple concessions with that recently, which may not be a bad thing. Like maybe it's okay for them to make some concessions because they've been so long-term focused for so many years that maybe they should do a little bit of a, a upcrease or a little bit, maybe they deserve a little bit of whales, you know, dumping money during Christmas. But I hope it doesn't continue, I guess. I'm surprised the servers run so with that many players. The Pokemon servers are not praised enough. That's a great positive point. Um, the Pokemon servers, like whenever there's like a small queue that takes 15 minutes, people complain. And whenever it's like lagging a bit, people complain. But like overall, the Pokemon servers are actually really good. I really, I really like that you brought that point up. Um, yeah, the Pokemon servers, in my opinion, are actually overall extremely good. Servers are just a thing in, in game development in general, where it's like you don't appreciate how good they are until they're gone. And then it's everybody's complaining. Um, that servers are down and shit but when they're just up you know when they're up consistently you don't appreciate that which is which is very human you know it's hard it's hard not to but yeah it's good to you know, i guess consciously be aware of total encounters pod i didn't even like put that together or really click with that rumor but that is interesting do you think the new feature is gonna end up being dungeons since twist mountain is gone i didn't even like think about that like the fact that twist mountain is gone how that could impact the yeah that is kind of a really interesting to consider like if that's going to impact like the future featured you know mechanic coming up do you think it'd be healthier if the balls slash pokemon given from them weren't tradable um it's not really that that matters it's more so like the value and like the difficulty to achieve them and get them um if wait no if the the pokemon from the balls can be tradable that's fine but that's a no yeah if the balls weren't tradable if you had to like go farm all of your mysterious balls yeah i mean that's just a good thing right that's like that because that follows the thought process of I'm an effort equals OT shiny, not swiping credit card, paying for pokey and equal shiny, which is now like the meme with the mysterious balls, which really sucks. Um, yeah, no, that's actually a really good. Yeah, I super agree with that with the um, if they made the balls, the mysterious balls untradeable, that'd be like really good in my opinion.
Congratulations on Drumel with the Christmas shiny. Congratulations to him, dude. I fucking love Beedrill as well, man. Congratulations to you, dude. Go get a shiny before you have to... <laughs> You've been blessed by the Christmas bee. Go get a shiny before you have to pee. Thank you. That's actually such an interesting question. I love this question. Do you think adding buy orders to the game would be a good or bad change similar to other MMOs? So something like uh, like RuneScape where you like have buy and like sell orders, right? So you'll, you'll be like listing to like, okay, I'm willing to buy a Ludicolo, 31 special attack, 31 speed, 25 plus and all other stats, like Tim and Nature for like one mil or no, obviously not like, like two, I think that'd be really cool. Uh, if they could, I don't know how hard that would be to implement, buy orders would be so interesting because then people could go like specifically breed for or specifically go catch pokemon to try to reach those um those things that's so good dude i think that's really, really incredible um that's a really really good i like that idea a lot so yeah premier balls are, are selling for 1 million pokien but at one out of four thousand shiny odds but ultra balls are 100k pokien at 2.5k odds what are the what's the difference i think premier balls drop alphas i could be wrong but people buy them for shalfa hunting which is <laughs> insane uh, i think i could be wrong i think that's, I think that's what the difference this is actually crazy base jonas if you're a new player doing stuff like farming lepas or like ditto boxes right now like doing the th doing the things that aren't even part of the event that fuel the shunters is giga pokien right now turbo smart to like look at the market like that look at the economy and see hey like, what can i do to like what are people spending a shit ton of money, on, money on right now and it's shiny hunting, shiny hunting supplies um it's a great call I don't know what to call this stream recap. I don't know if this is day two or day three of the event. Day 2.5? Yeah, day 2.5 is kind of accurate, sadly. Just awkward. Because the event dropped at, like, midnight on the 24th. Right? Or a little bit, like, 10 p.m. on the 24th. So... It's still within... What is it, like, thir we're, like, 36 hours into the event? That's kind of wild to think about. We're not even, we're not even two days into the event, correct? 24 hours from the 10 p.m. to... Yeah, we'll be 24 hours into the event. It's currently 1.55 p.m. on the 26th. So once um, day three, it's, I don't know, man. Is it really day three? You, you could technically call it like by like 24, 25, 26, but it came out 10 p.m. on the 24th. Also, it's my time. It could have been, you know, 25th and other, other people's time zones. Um, I feel like I'm going to call it day two, but it's technically like, what's the math? It's day two, but it's technically... 36 plus like 40 hours it's technically if you want to be real technical it's technically 40 hours into the event i would call that day too personally but that's yeah good little discussion uh petrowski is the shiny chance and mysterious ball is determined when you get the ball or when you open it surely when you open it right that would like it's actually what spawns the pokemon that'd be my guess i don't know for sure my guess would be when you open it um i can't i can't imagine it's on creation like eggs i could be wrong i'm not sure though Good question. So many Articunos on the GTL caught in Master Balls. You're trolling, right? You're joking? You're pranking me. Is really what it is. Oh no, the first one. Oh no, the second. Okay, timer. Based. Okay, based. Okay. Smart. Good on you. Hunan. Pog. Okay, smart. Jojo fan. Smart. Okay. Not as bad as oh, it hurts. Why? Ah, don't do this. It's such a waste. It's such a waste. Such a waste. Imagine wasting your master ball on a Pokemon that you can just literally timer ball and catch. Um, people have to when it runs out of PP. It's literally better to just go rehunt it. Like yeah, it's unironically more valuable to let it die, rehunt it, than to waste a master ball. Um, you only get five master balls, like ever on your account um you're gonna get an articuno every month or every like three months or whatever forever right there's so many opportunities catch it there's so many things versus five master balls finite that's it ever right um master balling a legendary is kind of like going in debt to buy video games for a steam sale when it's like steam has so many sales there's a summer sale there's a winter sale there's fucking valentine's there's so many sales right you don't need to go in debt to get all the games you want off of Steam right now, this instant. You're gonna have so many opportunities to do that. Like, Master Balling Legendary is like going into like 33% fucking interest debt. Just to, it's just so, there's no reason to do it. It's just so, it's just so 
not worth it uh financially like not financially just, and never just not worth it uh, if, if it makes you happy the only way it is worth it so this is the, the people get really mad when i tell them what to do i'm not sure do whatever you whatever you, you want right um the argument is like if it makes you happy if it makes you happy and like nostalgic or whatever it may be if it makes you happy for whatever reason to see a legendary in a master ball more power to you but you're only going to be able to do that for five legendaries right and like the argument was Shaman. When Shaman was the first legendary to be added to the game, and everybody said, oh, there's only one legendary in the game, so it's totally fine to use one of your Master Balls to do that. But then guess what happened? They added Shaman. They added um, Raikou, Suicune, Entei. Oh, shit. Now there's four legendaries. You have to, quote unquote, just use one of your Master Balls on. Oh, and now now, now there's Articuno. So now there's, now there's all five of your Master Balls, and there's still going to be Zapdos. There's still going to be Maltres. There's probably still going to be more legendaries to come in the future, and now you fucking wasted them all. Um, it's Yeah, do whatever you want at the end of the day, obviously, whatever makes you happy. I, I know. Don't let me tell you what to do, but it's kind of like a financial advisor being like, hey, don't fucking go in 33% interest debt to fucking buy a baseball glove, and then you're like, don't tell me what to do, and you just go do it. Like, okay, whatever, man. Hog. Is it better to sell Articuno now or after one month? If you want to sell Legendary, pro um, uh, ASAP, probably. Like, after one month. There might be a small spike, to be fair, after um, December's over, and, like, it's January and people missed it. Like, maybe. You either sell it... You probably either sell Articuno right now, or in, like, a month or one to two months. There won't be that comparable. Like, maybe you sell it now for, like, one mil, Versus maybe you could sell it for like 1.2 mil in like a month or two months. Is that really worth waiting for that extra turn? Like maybe for some people. Uh, maybe it goes down. Is it worth that risk? Probably not. You probably just, if you want to sell it, probably just sell it now. Um, I'm going to try to get my original three like OT birds first of each, like first month or whatever. of each. So like I have like my Petrowski OTs from the first month of each legendary first spawn, if that makes sense. Yeah, if you don't have Dunander status active right now and you'll be shunting even like three hours a day, you should, everybody should 100% buy like seven day Dunander to like get, yeah, it's to skip login queues if that's an issue as well. And then also just get that extra boost. It's just so good, dude. The 10% on top of the 20 is so insane. Another shiny charm popped by Shizu. I appreciate it, dude. We'll see what happens on this one. Currently at 12,390 encounters. Yeah, I definitely agree with you guys. We're like, so we're arguing whether mysterious balls can be affected by the shiny rate changes of a like holiday. I, I agree. It says base rate, base rate. True. Um, exceptionally high base chance to contain a shipment one out of twenty five hundred. So that to me, base means it can be adjusted. Base means it can be changed, but like affected by the. So, what's the effective lowest shiny rate you can get right now in Pokemon? If you have Ultra Balls, if you take twenty five hundred. Is this real? This seems insane. Times 0.20. So. This seems insane. No? Times 0.10. So 1800. Times point. This seems insane. No? So 1800 times. Or minus 180. So with. Holiday bonus. Shiny charm. Your shiny charm. And dono. And you're popping mysterious ultra balls. The shiny rate can be one out of six thousand one sorry one out of one hundred what the fuck one out of one thousand six hundred and twenty that seems insane not worth the money for ultra balls i think that's true i don't think that's true with great balls um i counted it earlier we'll i'll do a test and run the math later with great balls and stuff it seems like it costs about the same to get an, as an egg shiny um, that's so nuts. Yeah, Ultra Balls seem overpriced. That is true. But Great Balls and Pokeballs seem really cheap. But you only get certain Pokemon. And whether whether it's worth it, quote unquote, or not, is like, it's like very up for debate. I think it's really, it's a really tough one. Um, that's super interesting. Q said this. I would love the source on this, but fair. Um, Q said this. The Holiday Charm isn't actually a modifier. It's just a base rate override. It sets the base rate for any non-mysterious ball encounters to 1 out of 24k. I think that means maybe I'm wrong. It sets the base rate for any non-mysterious ball encounters one to 24k. That is so interesting. That wait, the way that words, it almost does make me think the holiday boost doesn't work on mysterious balls, but the other boosts would. That is so strange. That's like the least thing I would have ever expected. Um Yeah, I would love a link to that. That's that's really interesting. Okay, we got an alpha wall rain call Sinnoh. We will go head over to that to check it for sure. 
Hey, Pat, how many mysterious balls can you pop in like one hour? Like 1,200 or what's the math? That's such a funny question. I have no idea. Um, that's a really interesting question. How many you can pop in an hour? I have no idea. So many, says Rumel. Yeah, probably more than so many, dude. Yeah, I, I mean, I would, I could be wrong, but I would hard guess that mysterious balls are the fastest shiny hunting method right now. Yes. Um, which is kind of sad because it's very, we'll talk about it earlier a lot, right? We're already talking about it in great detail, uh, but it's very like, it is very pay to win and which is, you know, sad to see. All right. There's the wall ring catch. Let's see. Three XP candy L's. Talk about a W. Uh, stats or whatever. That's okay though. Uh, all right. Cool. Uh, back to shunting, I guess. Back over to Kanto. Try to go for Articun Arena. Shiny watch hard for a team, Mr. Member. Nice, nice, nice. Congratulations. Underrated shiny. Okay, I'm going to switch locations up for the sake of my sanity. I'm going to head over to um, Ruin Valley. Someone told me this spot has Jolteon and Yanma. They're probably like wildly rare. I don't think this spot is going to be good, but I do want to test it and kind of just mess around. It's just fun. When you're, when you're you know, shunning in the same spot over, it's good to switch up locations. Like environmental location in Pokemon, in my opinion, like matters a lot for switching up the schmood. Careful, this spot is Wobbuffet and Geodude. Okay, good calls. I do appreciate that. Um... Yeah, I do have a damp Pokemon. I'll have to be careful, I guess, with Wobbuffet. It'll just be a weird one. What are you going to do? Um, someone's a D-Bond. Worst case scenario, I can, I can Master Ball, I guess. Worst case scenario, but hopefully we can prevent that. Um, Pop a Lore. This is an interesting location. So this spot apparently has Yanma and Jolteon. Let me check the Pokedex for, like, Jolt. Oh, I'm going to need to run away. I'm so dumb. Now I get why you guys were saying... Yeah, I need a runaway one. Um, yeah, I don't have anything. I have to go get a new Pokemon. Oopsie whoopsie. I could just do Smoke Ball. That actually probably is worth it. Doing Smoke Ball. It adds a little extra line of dialogue, but I feel like it actually... I feel like it might actually be worth it here so I can get the 10%. I don't know what's faster. 10% increased encounters, but you get Smoke Ball text versus Runaway without the 10% encounters. I don't know which is slower. I have no idea. Pokeball is so brutal. I know you do you. Okay, I'm gonna go grab a runaway Pokemon just in case. We'll put away the utility spin, the spinda for like alpha catches and look for, here, this is it. Runaway, eradicate. This is my first competitive Pokemon that I ever owned in Pokemon 2013. Iron Tail, a revolutionary move at the time. I'm so tired of being in Kanto. Dude, as someone who loves Kanto and like, I love the region, it's very nostalgic, blah, blah, blah. Yes, that's like, when there's grinds like this, you just grow sick of being in the same region over and over again. Um, yeah, for sure. There's a Yanma encounter. That's one of the good encounters here. Yeah, so this spot has Jolteon as a lore encounter. And then uh, what are the odds of Yanma? Yanma is like either rare or uncommon. I think it might be uncommon here, but there's so many spawns here. Ruin Valley uncommon. There's so many spawns that like it doesn't even end up operating as like an uncommon in my opinion. There's a Jolteon encounter, kind of cool. Gotcha. Okay, I didn't know this. So apparently elemental orbs are the legendary beast equivalent of rainbow quills. God, I haven't heard anyone mention this item. Okay, gotcha. So this is the this is the item that allows you to adjust the IVs of Articuno, Zeppes, and Moltres. They're literally just rainbow quills, but for these other Pokemon. Okay, gotcha. Good to know. Good info. Wait, I didn't even think about that. No, that is, yeah, that's true, Barrels. I mean, I, we've been like going off of pretty solid assumptions the whole time, but no, you're totally correct, Barrels. Um, Elemental Orb's literally saying, hey, these will work on Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Yeah, this literally just 100% confirms for sure that these guys are going to operate the same as Legendary Beasts, and there will be Zapdos and Moltres coming to the game as well. Cool. So that's official confirmation. Yeah, that Zapdos and Moltres are coming. Pog, pog, pog. The real question is, what's which one's next, Zapdos or Moltres? Johto Beasts were Water, Electric, Fire. I feel like it'll be Zapdos next. Someone said in chat, they might go um, Uno Dos Trace, which is kind of funny and genius. Like, you know, Articuno, Zapdos, Moltres. Um, so one, two, three. And then, um, yeah, Legendary Beasts were Water, Electric, Fire, which would also line up almost, obviously we're replacing Water with Ice, but you know what I'm saying? Like Articuno, Zapdos for Raikou, Moltres for... Yeah, that, those, the typings fit up perfectly and the um, naming scheme, which is kind of kind of cute. I, that, that's my guess for sure. All right, that is the shiny charm up, though, and I'm not going to lie. I'm really excited to take a quick five-minute break, and then um, we're going to take a five-minute break. Always stretch when you're shining this much, and then we're also going to um, clear our boxes, and I'm going to pop a charm, and I'm going to pop 
fossils not only fossils but i'm also going to pop a bunch of mysterious pokeballs and go buy more of those so we're gonna go for a crazy rare shiny fellas wish me luck we'll see what happens and i clear up my pc let me try if i have pc space for this though as well before i start going ham um but quick five minute break before that okay after a little bit of box sorting i have one box two box three four five five six boxes ish empty i do need to also um Get all my alpha mill tanks and get those ready to be bred as well. All these bad boys. Let's claim all of our mail. Charcoals, thank you for the donations. 30 charcoals, I appreciate it. OG, spoiling me with charms. Thank you, thank you. Let's get funneled back into more Team Mr. Shunting. We've got some mysterious Pokeballs here to pick up. Mysterious Great Balls. I'm excited to pop some of these. This should be uh, a bit, a spot of fun. Spot of fun. I, and I bought some uh, alpha male field egg group breeders the other day. So we can go ahead and claim all these to my PC for now and get these ready for the alpha male tank breeding. Merry Christmas, Rumel, with the fatty gift. Thank you for the 100 damp rocks. Very valuable, limited resource. Thank you, man. Merry Christmas to you too, man. I appreciate it. All right, Merry Christmas right back to you, Rumel. You are getting yourself 26 heat rocks. <laughs> A castle cone and a sweetheart. Much love to you, dude. This is the content creator Christmas presents we're all here for, fellas. Merry Xmas. Woo. At 12,600 counters, exactly, which is pretty cool. Getting the breeders lined up here. I actually need to buy 10 more milk tanks, which is kind of funny. Never had that issue before. It'll be good to have those bought and taken care of so I can do these in groups of 30 in the future, as opposed to doing them in a group of 20 was very strange. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and math. Because we got that full breeder box set up. Now I want to get more. I need enough space. I need to make sure I have enough space for all my fossils and also the mysterious Pokeballs. So let's count. Okay, we have um one, two, three, four, essentially four empty boxes, five in reality. So five times 60, is 300 box spaces open now how many things do we have to consume we'll probably get to buy more i've got around 160 ish fossils and then mysterious pokeballs i've got 50 ish okay so like i'm at what 200 ish okay so i can actually buy like 100 more fossils and pokeballs we'll see if i actually i don't think i'm gonna dump that much money into this stuff right now but we'll see dude ultra balls are kind of up in price that's kind of why i bought a couple for i bought all the ones that I bought, which weren't that many, but I bought them for 100k. Wait, I only have one? I thought I had more. Huh. Huh, interesting. Okay, I just bought a bunch of stuff off the GTL. I probably have around the right amount now. So 46 plus 47, like 100-ish there in terms of encounters. And then fossils, I bought 150 plus 190. This is around 200. So I have around 200 there. And then around 100, around-ish 100 here. I think I have around... Yeah, I think I have around the right amount of box space that I need. The amount of encounters that I'm doing. It's close. Um, it's close. Buy one Premier Ball? How expensive are they? Oh, show me the 20... I can't see the 20, 23 ones. Are there any on the GTL? There's none on the GTL. I can't even buy one. Wow. Um, huh. Interesting. Okay, we got a little donation from Raph. Bro, I appreciate coming to OTV Trash Mon. Dude, you can have for gifting me an, an Ultra Ball. Okay, yeah, for gifting me a literal mysterious Ultra Ball, I will send you one of the best Crinidoses I have in my box. Adamant, 20 plus in every stat that it needs. Not a perfect guy, but a solid natural Crinidos. Merry Christmas. Ogg. Balls, okay. Shiny MMOs. God damn, nine is... Okay, that's enough. I appreciate it, guys. Stop sending me free stuff. I'm a streamer. I don't need it. I appreciate it, though. Thank you. Um, Damn, we got like 10 Ultra Balls. That's a lot. Okay, we have some dope stuff to open up. Stop. I saw a mail. St I appreciate it. Thank you. Cuz Weecho. Thank you so much. I love the name. Um, Thank you guys so much. I'm going to take a quick five-minute break, and then we'll pop everything. Get Turbo Rare Shiny. True and real. 100% odds. True. What Shiny should I pull out for good luck, fellas? What do you guys think? Rampardos, Miltank, Shuckle. What do we think? What's the best luck shiny? Shuckle, Jinx, Shuckle, Shuckle, Rampardos, one of the rats. Get out of here. Raticate, no. I think Shuckle's the top voted. We're going to pull Shuckle out for the best luck. 
Okay, let me start an upstairs city celadon. I'm about to open a lot of bunch of, a bunch of, a lot of bunch of, a lot of bunch of rare stuff. I gotta do some, I gotta run some math first. Okay, first things first, I'm gonna be popping this strange assortment of numbers of mysterious balls. Um, if you want to see the math and numbers, I'm gonna do my own video covering this just to kind of show the data and stats because I think this is like something that's very desired as people open these. So I'm gonna do this as its own separate video. I'm gonna do all the numbers over there, count it, see if we get a shiny, etc., etc. So if you're watching the stream recap, uh, if you want to see the, the video for this, there'll be a different video. So hopefully keep an eye out for that. Uh, so if you're watching the stream recap, you're really gonna wanna go rewatch that um mysterious ball opening because yeah let's uh let's firstly restart my encounter counter to zero that's insane i dude i i was going on a wet streak i've been calling it forever guys i was only dry for the content now i can go wet for the content okay holy shit i can finally choose outcome believes believers got it today a big payout on the twitch channel points oh let's head over to um no way dude i just i can't believe it is it Orbird City for the for the fossils? Uh, well, I still have charm to do, so we've got more to do. But uh, shiny Stantler, dude, it's so sick. From I can never breed this. I'm always gonna keep it like from because I don't want I don't want to lose this. I'm oh, I'm never gonna breed this. I'm always gonna keep it. Adam and Thunder Attack is solid. I'm I'm never gonna breed it though. Let's see if I can get. Let's see if we can do um two rare shiny. Like, Stantler's not really a rare shiny. It's a time swipe horde, but it's still a really cool one to get from that. I like that I have a mysterious ball, shiny OT shiny. Um, let's open all these and see if we can double up our money, fellas. Yeah, this is actually ends up being an incredible Frisk utility Pokemon. Uh, I, Shiny Stantler is a really good one. Also, it's a Christmas. I mean, they're all Christmas themed, but it's like Stantler, you know, reindeer, I guess. I don't know, bro. I'm just forcing it. Uh, December 26th. How about Christmas miracle, dude? December 26th. I know it's so cheesy, but oh, dude, that was nuts. Yeah, someone asked how many I opened. I think I only opened like around 100 mysterious, maybe a little bit more like a 110, but like I opened around 100 and that was it. Um, That was very, very, very lucky. Dude, it RNG, dude. I have more than that. Yeah, RNG ebbs and flows, dude. It ebbs and flows. You got to ride through those bad, those dry shunts to get to these. And then sometimes you get the fun little... <laughs> so weird to think that I have a shiny Stantler now. Oh man, that's so nuts. It was Rumel's damp rocks that brought the luck. Fuck, dude, he probably, he opened, so he's been gambling for so long. All of the like accumulation of RNG has been rubbing off onto his damp rocks. And then yeah, he sent them over with all the luck. I, I can't believe I got it. Dude, I'm just so happy, man. RNG evens out. Hopium boys, hopium. Yeah, the reason why Premier Balls are so expensive is that, yeah, it's, they drop alphas. So it's a one out of 4,000 chance for a Shalva, which is just, you know, insane. Um, yeah, that Stantler just barely made it into the uh, 2023 Shiny Reaction recap as well, which is awesome. Um, dude, yeah, imagine Shiny Wars during like this week. Yeah, during the boost, that would be incredible. I was, I almost like... I, to I toyed with the idea of asking authors talking about like doing an impromptu shiny wars like on like this week or but it's just such a thing to I don't yeah I don't know if it's actually plausible but it's interesting um because because the 20% boost is just so crazy but yeah that's nuts dude I truly got so lucky on that like Stantler is one of my favorite ones that I could have gotten from that pool of Pokemon if I got like seal or dugon I would have been really sad if I would have gotten like deer lane or saws book I kind of I kind of would have been sad I already I already have a shiny deer lane um I'm trying to think what else was it was even in there um I can check super quick like there's a lot of shinies in there that are kind of a fail for me jinx wouldn't be that cool because yeah I already have a jinx plus it would be a female only species pineco would be crazy Sphere would be kind of neat but I already have a shiny Sphere. I don't really need it like it'd be a repeat um, Cryogonal is like a genderless, not very desired shiny. I mean, it's like, it's a pretty cool shiny to be fair. Starry would be great. Chingle would be fine. Snow Run would be fine. Bear Ticker. There's some, there's some cool ones. But there, was a, there was a lot of fails as well is what I'm trying to say. Like that was, I got very lucky. I got very lucky is what I'll say. Stantler is one of the ones I'm wet. Like one of the ones I'm very, very happy with. Maybe the one I wanted the most. Um, that was, that was nuts. Yeah, dude, Manson. Anyone who either stocked up on or just randomly had a bunch of legendary lores laying around made bank heading into this update. Like, legendary lores, so, so much happened, right? Legendary lores got a huge buff. Um, they got a huge buff and they introduced Articuno. I thought, there was something, I thought there was something else that happened as well. They got a huge buff plus they introduced um, Articuno. So legendary lores were just, yeah, way insane demand. 
Bro, dead ass a gambler. Dude, it's so funny because I, I never gamble in Pokemon like ever. Like I never do um I never do gambling. But like I, I don't yeah, it's just not worth like for like spending Pokean and risking Pokean for like more Pokean. But risking Pokean for a shiny, that's like an OT that's something I'm more open to the idea of. Um that's interesting to me. But yeah, I usually never gamble on like sealed product in Pokemon, so it's just so crazy that it just worked out the one time I did it. Um god damn. Also, it was probably on an OG charm. He gifted me two charms before, so. OG, good luck, damp rocks, good luck from Rumel. It was definitely a, a team mister team effort, 100%, a million percent. A bunch of people in, in stream and in chat, like, sent me some break balls, sent me some ultra balls. Dude, it was a, a pool effort. That was so sick. I just super did not expect to get a shiny, dude. It's so funny. So I have like 108 more fossils to pop here. Let me pop the one dome that I have, if possible. I have to go to Kant or Unova. I have to go to Unova to, cop to pop the turtle fossils, which is kind of funny. I also did eight or nine Great Ball encounters post the shiny, so I do have technically my encounter counter should read around like eight plus the all the fossils I've popped so far. Wait, do I do I not have enough? I thought I had enough PC space prepped. Do I not? Let me move this over. I think no, I think I do, but kind of barely ish. Oh, I still need to breed my Alpha Mil tanks. That's a thing as well. I need to not forget that. But I have around seventy ish fossils to pop still. Uh, I think it was 85 technically with the Unova ones. So I'm going to finish. I'm going to go ahead and um, finish popping these. I still have 70 to pop. God damn. Finish popping these 70 fossils. And then we'll go probably breed Mil Tank and then go do the Unova fossils. There's a quick two times 31 Ammonite. I have around, is it 30 or 35 left after this? Uh, yeah, 30. And then, well, 30 plus 15. We'll have to go to Unova for those though. Making good pace. Okay, there's the fo uh, those fossils done with. Let's head over and do some quick breeds on... Mil tank, and then we'll go do the, the Unova fossil. All right, we gotta get the the 30 alpha breeds that I'm doing. Wish me luck here, fellas. Let's see if we can get anything crazy. Do you think the anniversary will be in generous? Dude, I have no idea. I the anniversary event could literally be in 2025. I I have no idea. Um, we're gonna, I I will sit here and say that I I just have no idea. We'll have to just sit wait for more information. Cause I am yeah I I had some like strong. Like, yeah, prediction stuff, and I just, I, it did not pan out. I'm just gonna wait. All right, 11 minutes left in shine. I'm getting very distracted for the rest of this charm, but that's okay. I mean, I'm just kind of memeing around, having fun at this point, just celebrating. This is the victory lap at this point. Um, is it Driftvale City? No, no, no. What's the city for the fossils? It's not Castelia, is it? Oh, is it one of the, it's Natrine, I think. Yep, it's Natrine for fossils. Okay, we're gonna put these eggs over in the PC. I only, have, I only have 15 fossils here, so it's not that crazy. Um, but the way this works is, you know what fossils are weird? You have to pop them in a different location. You come in here, you talk to this girl, she has to like walk out and back in. It's, it's a lot it's a lot slower than being able to pop fossils in Sinnoh. You can pop Gen 4 and below fossils, so almost all fossils get popped in Sinnoh, which is way faster, but this is kind of slow, unfortunately. This is what you have to do for Gen 5 fossils, which makes Gen 5 fossils that much harder. I've done 10 turtles, so I have five left to pop. All right, this is the last Tortuga, fellas. Will it be shiny? If it is, I'd be stupid. It shouldn't be. It should not be shiny is what I'll say. Yep. There we go. Okay, cool. Eight minutes left in Charm. A bunch of Pokemons. In this is 45 encounters here. I did 45 plus... Oh my god, this math is gonna be so strange. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave counting how many encounters I did. Oh yeah, this is gonna be so strange until the very end. I'll just leave that for the end. Um, but for now, I've got eight minutes left on charm. What do you guys think? What do you guys think I should do? Do you guys think I should like? <laughs> you guys? <laughs> do you guys think I should uh like do a little bit of this? Twelve mil Pokeyan. What do you guys think? Okay, that's too much. I don't want to go below 10 mil. I one more. Okay. How many did I just get? <laughs> 23. Uh, okay, let's uh. Well, double or nothing, boys. Let's uh, let's see what happens. I'll just I'll just do this whole clip because if I get a, sh if, I mean that would just be. This is so dumb. Uh, don't do this. I'm just doing this for fun. I'm doing this because I have a lot of Pokeyan and I'd, I'd rather spend Poke like I care about spending Pokeyan on shiny hunting more than anything. Um, I'm happy to, to piss away Pokeyan to shiny hunt for fun. It's what I care about for sure. Glaceon is cool. 
Diagonal. 13 left. Stantlers. Seeing some Stantlers. Jinx. Okay. Nothing crazy. Bear tick. Nine left. Eight left. Seven left. Five left. Glaceon would be nuts. I wouldn't even be able to like really tell if I got like a Chiding Glaceon or a Dugon. Two left. All right, there we go, fellas. That's the gamble. I'm not. I'm not dumb enough to uh, keep going after that. Okay, but that's pretty solid. Let's go grab uh, our stuff. Let's go single encounter for some Articuno. Gamble some more. I think I'm done there. I'll do. Oh wait a minute. Um. I'll do one Pokeball. The last, the cursed last Pokeball. Deal. All right. That's going to be it for this shiny Charmarino. Let's go back to uh, single encountering for Articuno and stuff. Here we go. Let's go Route 24. That's going to be the... Uh, I'm down to do a little bit of uh, shunting there. I also spent so much money on expert lures. I, I don't know if anybody knows. I have 700, over 700 expert lures now. I spent a bunch of money on those this morning. Okay, now that I'm here single encountering and chilling, I can actually show you guys the... Um, here's the meme. This was the image someone made to celebrate my... <laughs> My Stantler. That's very good. That was the uh, the Team Mister news post for my shiny or shiny post, yeah. God tier news pick, yeah, it's a good one. It's a banger. I think it was Clue that made that. I think someone said, "Thank you, thank you, man." It's true art. Here, someone asked about the legendary lore buff because it did get a huge buff. So, legendary lore buff was um, legendary lures have gained additional effects. They increase normal encounter rates by fifteen percent, which is like kind of like expert lore on top plus more. Uh, increase the level of monsters encountered in the area value plus two. That doesn't really matter. I feel like may increase the size of encounters, so like times through hordes and stuff like that. So like they've essentially just combined and have an eight percent chance to encounter lore exclusive species. So they basically combined premium lores with le with legendary lores. Um, pretty much, roughly, is the meme. Um, which is, yeah. Really, the fact that you couldn't use legendary lores and other lores at the same time like made it a lot harder. Um, yeah, they, yeah they, they made them way more useful, for sure. Are they worth it? Probably not, but I could be wrong. Um, yeah. There goes the end of the legendary charm. The charm that got me the Stantler. I'm very happy about it. Let me head back to the PC really quick and uh, let's do some math. Yeah, not a stam charm, dude. The rare non-stam charm, true. Let's try to do some math here. It's gonna be awkward as fuck math. So this was 60. So 60 encounters here, I can add. 60, but then I did a weird amount here. Cause like, this was not from it. This, these were. Okay, so this is like 39. Let's remember, my, my calculator needs to save me here. So I've got 60. Plus 39 plus 40, because these were here before, but these weren't the Ammonites. Plus 40. And then plus a clean 60. And then plus another clean 60, I think. Right? I'm doing my, I'm doing my math. I'm pretty sure I'm right. Um, another clean 60. And then I did I only did eight. Like on top of this, so like plus eight here, I guess, if you really care. 267 plus 20. My new encounters is 287. If anybody cares. Uh, 287 is the new. Oh, I'm so dry, guys. So unlucky. You hate to see it. Yo, Land Crowd got a Shiny Nino Reno. Congratulations, dude. Hell yeah. More Mr. Common Mr. W's. 34 OT Shinies now. That's kind of cool. I feel like I had something I wanted to do, but I can't remember. What exactly it was. I'm just gonna hatch eggs and chill, I guess, until I remember maybe. Yeah, I wanted to go back to Articuno. I'm gonna do this some egg hatching, Articuno. What else is the plan for the day? Why does this Lapras swarm spawn in like raining soot from a lava mountain? That's very funny. It's snowing. Sh I, maybe. Okay, let's pause music for a second. I'm currently thinking about what to do. I think I am gonna end stream. Um so I can upload all the videos that I have made today. The thing is. After I'm done uploading all the videos, I'm probably going to shiny, uh, shiny hunt. Like, I want to abuse the heck out of this Happy Holidays thing. So, like, will I stream later or will I just shut in the living room 
hang out with my probably hang out with my fiance. I guess ha yeah, we'll do the quality time thing. We'll do we'll be sweet. Okay, we'll do the we'll do the right decision. Okay. I love you guys. Okay. That's it for today. That's gonna be the end of today's stream. I might even save these eggs for tomorrow, actually. We'll see what we'll to pop them on stream or something. But for now, I'll be seeing you guys later. Make sure to like the stream, like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike if not. Subscribe to the channel for daily videos. I do upload every single day. Follow the streams for crazy, chaotic memes like this. Monday through Thursday at 12 p.m. ET. Discord's down below for lost, present callouts, tons of help with the event, and updates on my content. And if you want to go above and beyond and support the channel, YouTube memberships, Twitch primes, Twitch subs, and PayPal slash Venmo donations really do a long, go a long way. Allow me to make more videos. Allow me to make higher quality stuff. And allow me to stream for longer. So thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you guys later. Peace, Arena. Yo, Petrowski here. Firstly, thank you so much for watching till the very end of the video. I truly hope it was worth your time today. And secondly, thanks to everybody whose name is listed here. You guys all go above and beyond and allow me to make daily content. Thanks again. Have a great day.